Hey everybody, welcome back to Upper Taconic Gold Mining. I'm your host, Wayne Thornton, prospector, miner, whatever you want to call me. Today we're on a little undisclosed brook in a whole different mountain range called the Taconics. That is to the westerly side of the Greens. It is a whole different mountain range. Um, and we have something really cool here, a little Geology 101. These rocks right out in front of us right here, this is an Ignis Dyke Rock, okay? Ignis in Latin means fire, which means there was a crack in the earth or a fault that ran up through here and allowed all this hot uh, molting rock to come up through the fault. And if you want to see something cool, this is the contact right here. That's where it touches this Ignis dike rock. Look at this big rock. And this rock goes for a long way, so this must have been one hell of a crack at one time. Uh, look at the stock works inside of all of this. Look at it. There's just hundreds of quartz veins. Hundreds. Okay, it goes right up through. Um, another interesting fact is there's another little fault on this side, or a contact, more than likely a contact, where I dug some quartz and brought it home and crushed it up. Of course, at that time, I didn't have the greatest crusher in the world. And I'm about 100% sure that we had gold in it, but I'm going to reassess it. I got a lot more tools now to play with. Um, you can see, let's get down here. This is the hang wall. Look at the mineralization. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. That's all iron staining. So this would be known as the hang wall. And this is the foot wall. This is like a gray wacky slate that that is just sitting on. Boom. Um, for many, many years, the brook has been, um, eroding this and a lot of that has gone downstream. I mean, you can see the fragments. There's a lot. So this whole area is really a, a great geological area because above me, above these banks, as you can see way up there, there's big gravel pits that even go further than that. So that tells you how high the glacial water was in here at one point pretty crazy so I came up today just to play around I wanted to give everybody a little geology lesson it's kind of cool um, you know look for these areas I know no one really cares for geology but like I keep saying it's just another tool in your arsenal I mean look at the size of this dike I mean it's huge here's another area over here of contact let me get up here if you can see it Check this out, right here. This is the quartz that came up and allowed this dike to come up with it. I will. I read some uh, work, paperwork that they said that quartz is the lubricant for faults or contacts, and it sure the hell is. Um, this gorge keeps going way up this valley, and then it goes way on top of a ridge of a mountain. And it cuts right up through the mountain. It's crazy how big this thing is. Now, supposedly this is not documented on the geology report because I have not seen this dike anywhere. Um, I had a good friend of mine, my mentor, my geologist friend, Jeffrey Slade, come up here and take a peek. And he confirmed that everything that I'm saying is 100%. Like he said, it's textbook geology. So we're working over in there, trying to dig a little bit. And you can see where my shovel handle is up there. Because this is kind of like an ancient plunge pool. If you look at this right here, see this tree? This tree is about 40 to 50 years old. Years ago when I started coming up here, that tree was originally right there and it slid right down into the valley right here. So it kind of blocked that and made a dam. So the water runs now down over this dike. And it cuts over and it ate all of that underneath that big quartz bed that we were just at. So at one time, that had to have been the plunge pool. And I noticed the further I go down, I'm starting to get into some light. Uh, well, I went through kind of like a bigger area. And then I punched down into this like wet, gravelly, pebbly rock. And lo and behold, I found a little piece of gold, if it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Let's get down here so hopefully you can see it. See it right there? It's not a big one, but that's a pretty nice flake for the Taconics. I don't know if there's any more in there. I think I saw one or two little tiny ones. But that's what you're going to find over here. You're not, this isn't Plymouth. 
This isn't Tyson. This is just a little brook full of glacial till trying to find some goodies. You can almost see the line right here. It cuts right up through. It's crazy. I mean, this is just textbook geology. When you see these rocks, especially if you're in areas like, you know, say Plymouth Tyson, <laughs> you're going to be onto some good gold. Um, it, really, this place all needs to be creviced and worked, but you know, you can really hump your butt all day and not find crap. That was really an exception to the rule. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that for today, especially people can see it. I mean, that's, that's pretty respectable. Um, but today I'm using a fox, uh, Saluce fox. What I like about these is right here, that pops off and you can put another gadget on there that locks on and it actually puts a strainer in there or sieve and you can dump your material on top of that as long as you have good enough water volume. Well today I knew I wasn't going to be messing with good water volume so that's why I just put the, the tray, the mouth tray on. Um, just your standard pans. Um, I just want to talk about the pans. I love these blue pans. Some people like the green, whatever. Whatever your eye likes. Hell, I've seen people use pink ones. Oh, my finger's getting in the way. Um, so, you know, this is what you're playing with over here, rock-wise. It's all slaty, quartzy, you know, full of quartz. Now, the gold over here, if you do find it in that quartz, it's going to be what they call the Carlin trend. This is Carlin type gold. And if anybody knows about what Carlin is, Carlin is our largest gold mine in the United States. It's, it's in Nevada. It's in Carlin, Nevada. Uh, what they do is they crush this stuff down almost to a minute state. And then they, they, they actually, the gold falls out of it through these chemical processes. And it's crazy. But the gold is very, very small. And the stuff that I found in here, that I'm 100% sure that I found in here, um, I had to look at it under a Tom Love, which is its own little microscope type looking thing. And there was gold specks in there. I know they were. Um, you know, when, when, when you see that kind of stuff, you know, that really gets you going. But in this mountain range, there's a lot of this. Um, but any of the gold that's going to be in the schisteries is called the West Castleton schist. And that's the overthrust that comes up through and there's a little gold associated with that like i said it's carlin trend style uh any gold that you find is really tiny this is probably something that come floating in on the glaciers um pretty respectable like i said for this area um i just figured i'd let everybody know we got another video coming out um i'm a little upset with dream mat and i'm going to show you why I gave him a heck of a good review, but after owning it for about six months, things started to happen to it that I'm not 100% in love with. So we're going to talk about that, and I'm going to talk about some other tools that I use. And then we're probably going to be out in the field with Jeffrey Slade. Usually when I get together in Prospect, I'm either with him or Jerome, uh, sorry, Jerome, Joe Moranville from Green Mountain Gold Trap. Uh, we do a lot of prospecting together, so... Uh, Jeff and I have got a pretty cool little one set up. Um, so I hope everybody are enjoying the videos. Please like, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, help us out a little bit if you can. The channel's just growing. Uh, our last one was a review on Hudson Sawmills. Uh, really cool that they reached out to me. And uh, actually, they're sending me some apparel and told me I did a hell of a job on the review. So I was pretty excited with that. Um, so as of for today, Ignis Dyke Rock, Latin, means fire. That means hot liquid came right up through the earth, created two contact zones. Sometimes within them contact zones, there's gold that comes up with it. But that is 100% sure gold because that is the West Castleton history that's rolled itself, overthrusted itself up here. And it's all on the ge geological maps. Take your time, start to learn them, reach out to people that know what they're doing. Have a good time out there, everybody. Heavy pans. Upper Taconic Gold Mining, out.